Hey everybody, Steve here with Printavo, and in this video we're going to show you how you can set up your payment acceptance in Printavo, which will allow you to do things like request and accept payment through Printavo, and provide refunds for those payments collected, both full refunds and partial refunds. Uh, you'll also be able to view your deposit information about the payments that are collected within uh, or through Printavo. And in the case that perhaps a customer disputes a charge or, or something along those lines, then uh, you'll be able to manage those disputes as well. So again, all from setting up this payment acceptance. So let's get to it. So first things first, I'm going to click on my account to get to my preferences here. And once I'm in, I'm just going to scroll down to my accept payments area. Now, what I'm eventually going to do is click my blue setup payments button here. And I only say eventually because I do just want to call your attention to these three highlighted bullet points here. Uh, you will, uh, the, the application that we're filling out will have more than three pieces of information, but these are the three pieces of information. These three highlighted pieces are the uh, pieces of information we find that people don't uh, always have, you know, on, you know, on hand or uh, off, off the top of their head, I should say, uh, might be stored away in, you know, like a file cabinet or desk drawer or something. So you'll just make sure you want to have uh, your tax identification number, the bank account information of the bank to which we'll be uh, depositing your funds, and then the relevant birth date and social security number of uh, any significant owners of the business. So with that said, let's get to it. I'm going to click the setup payments button to be taken to my merchant application. And you'll see the merchant application itself has four main sections, the business section, which is about the business, the owner section, the bank account section and your terms and conditions. Now you'll see uh, as I'm clicking through, I am able to click through, but before it gives me any information in any of these sections, I do have to select a business type from the business page. So I'll just say, how about an LLC? And once I've done that, it's provided me with uh, just other business uh, or other fields, I should say, to fill out to progress the application. Now, once I have selected that, I am able to jump around through the different sections, uh, despite having not necessarily completed uh, every section. So again, if you want to just kind of take, you know, approach it uh, out of order, that's totally fine. Now on the bank tab here, you'll see we have two options to connect your bank account. Number one is we can use Plaid, which connects, uh, it, it's just, you know, you sign into your bank account and it connects your bank account to Printavo. It's super duper easy and secure. Now Plaid uh, does connect with most banks, though not all of them. So if your bank is not in Plaid or you just happen to prefer to enter your bank info manually, that is totally fine as well. You'll just click this button instead. Now, uh, when it comes time to agree to your terms and conditions, uh, I know a lot of us, myself included, when we have to agree to terms and conditions, we typically just click the buttons and move on. You are not able to do that in the merchant application. We actually require you to open the links and read them. So uh, I'll go ahead and open my top link here, my bank disclosure page, and then I will also open my merchant terms and conditions page. And then you'll want to go through and read that. And now once these things have been opened, you'll actually be able to check the boxes to uh, sign up. Now you'll see that uh, I clicked sign up after checking those boxes and I have these red triangles. That means that I am missing some required information. In my case, I'm missing all the information because I didn't fill anything out. But uh, when you're going through this process, if maybe you accidentally missed a field that's required, we will uh, we'll, we'll help you, we'll draw attention to that, right? So you'll see, hey, here's everything that's missing. And uh, again, hopefully yours will be less than what I'm missing. Now, once you do submit, you'll find yourself in one of two states and you'll, you'll know uh, right away. And uh, the first state is that you'll be approved and you'll see a badge that looks like this. And if that's the case, uh, then what will happen is you'll be able to begin accepting payments, right? You're ready to go. If you're not approved right away, you'll find that your status is uh, under review. And that just typically means that, you know, something maybe didn't match exactly or, or something just needs to be looked at. But 
uh, that's a, uh, a fairly quick review process. And then once that has been good uh, or signed off on, you'll be notified and approved. And at that point, your badge will look like this. And again, you'll be able to begin requesting and accepting payments and again, processing those refunds full and partial and watching your deposits and, and if necessary, managing disputes. All right. Thank you so much for your time and uh, hang out with me while I explain payment acceptance uh, applications to you. If you have any questions about the process, please don't hesitate to reach out to your dedicated success manager. Uh, or if you have any technical issues, please reach out to us at support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at printavo.com. If you're not sure who your dedicated success manager is, you can also email us at success, that's S-U-C-C-E-S-S, -S -S, at printavo.com. Again, Thank you so much. Have a great day.